Thank you very much. Thank you, Emmanuel. Mr. President, Madam von der Leyen, President of the European Commission, Premier Minister Fiala, Premier Minister Premier Minister Schmagal, the desire to overcome the energy terror campaign. I remember when Emmanuel Macron called me, suggesting we organize this event. There were already, we already had had a few strikes, uh, and there was already a campaign of terror waged with uh, Iranian drones trying to uh, trigger humanitarian catastrophe in our country. Russia needed to terrorize Ukraine and uh, all of the democratic world. In response to that, what we did is that uh, we did everything to prevent and counter a potential blackout and uh, campaign of energy terror. We have had many hits, airstrikes on our energy um, uh, structures and uh, all of the power stations, uh, hydroelectric power stations, uh, thermal stations, and other have been hit. Imagine what this would do in your country. One of the Russian strikes uh, uh, put uh, uh, well, made our uh, power plants come to a grinding halt. So everything worked in only a very speedy restoration of the power station destroyed by Russian strikes would require 1.5 billion euro to rebuild. So after every single strike, we try and get uh, all the technical capabilities and uh, power plants that are up and running every single day. Our energy specialists need to reconnect uh, many Ukrainians uh, and reorganize the supply because of the lack of energy on the grid. Now, for the time being, roughly 12 million people in all the regions of Ukraine uh, around Kiev are disconnected from power Supply. Unfortunately, this is a very typical situation, and every single day we expect new Russian airstrikes, which uh, uh, can increase the number of disconnections and, and uh, power outings. That's why interventions are as necessary in Ukraine as armored vehicles and bulletproof vests. It's the only way of protecting the ordinary people. And, uh, the general uh, public system, uh, given the existing conditions, uh, with the Russians trying to generate a total blackout. A parallel um, power generation system is being built now in Ukraine. It is being built as, far, as fast as possible in all of the different regions. But there are uh, thousands of SMEs in Ukraine that are carried on uh, functioning on, uh, with power generators. Hospitals, for example, work with power generations. Thanks to these power generators, we managed to save thousands of jobs. Internet and internet connection, telecommunications all over the country, and over 5,000 uh, access uh, spaces have been opened. Uh, these are locations where people can come and warm up, recharge uh, their appliances, uh, and uh, uh, connect to the internet. And I'm very thankful to all of the countries uh, partnering. Uh, which are partnering with Ukraine to manage the level of energy in our countries. And the key element is to maintain the main power grid in Ukraine and to guarantee its operation, its stable operation, in spite of all of the Russian attempts to make Ukraine the darkest place of Europe. That is why this format, this event, is important. That's why here and now we need to agree on specific actions which will allow Ukraine to survive and to envision the the future and uh, to make sure that all of the democratic uh, forces um, can assist Ukraine as far as possible to fight anti-democratic uh, forces, and namely Russia.
uh, to prevent many disasters and protect our citizens. We need different types of uh, equipment, uh, power generators, transformers, protection for high voltage grids, gas turbines, uh, motor propellers uh, with gas pistons. The uh, representatives of our country at the conference can give you the details and all of the technical specifications uh, of the equipment we need. In addition, to our energy power system needs utility until the end of the winter, the heating season, emergency support to the existing system. And we need this from Europe. We need to be able to import power from the uh, European countries into Ukraine to make this possible. We need to find a solution and a network with um, network managers uh, which allow the energy to, import, to be important. All of the technical specifications, uh, once again, will be detailed by our energy specialists. This will cost roughly 800 million euro. It, uh, of course, is very a uh, high amount, uh, but the price or the cost of it is lesser than the, the cost of a potential blackout. So I hope that these decisions uh, will be made accordingly. Uh, in the framework of the conference. Uh, the missions of the uh, European Energy Agency that will uh, be sent out to all of the um, nuclear power plants in Europe. I mean, we're uh, asking missions to be sent uh, to wherever is needed in Ukraine because uh, upon this uh, depends the stability of our region. And the missions sent out by the European Union will be a factor guaranteeing security and the control of an additional support of energy. Because of the destruction of our power plants uh, um, by terrorist attacks, we'll be required to use more gas uh, to heat ourselves this uh, winter than expected. We'll need to buy 2 billion cubic meters of gas this winter. And this will be an element to ensure our stability. And that's why we need your leadership. The fifth point is Another practical result of the conference could be an agreement on the funding of a project that Emmanuel mentioned already. And this would be a project to buy lead lamps for Ukraine. This might not seem very important, but 50 million of those lead lamps will allow us to save roughly one gigawatt of power. I mean, the average deficit of our power grid is 2.5 gigawatt for the time being. We will also need special mechanism for coordinating efforts. Uh, the Paris mechanism will allow us to provide swift answers to all of the challenges that have been uh, caused by the terror campaign and by Russia. So far, we do not have an anti-air defense system as modern as required uh, to um, uh, counter the Russian missiles, which we will manage to create a decision-making system which will um, deprive Russia of the impact of this terrorist tactic. When the stability of Ukraine will have been maintained throughout the winter, this will prevent some waves of migration to the population towards your country. No uh, airstrike or no uh, attack against power station uh, will allow Russia to carry out its objectives, and Russia will have to think about how to put an end to the aggression to stop. And I think this is in our hands now, and I thank you once again. I thank you, Mr. President, for organizing this event. And I really hope uh, that uh, concrete decisions will be made. Thank you very much, and long live Ukraine.